Hi, today I'd like to show you a new feature in iOS 6 called Speak Selection with Highlighting. Speak Selection was a new feature in iOS 5, but didn't highlight the words as it goes along. Now in iOS 6, it does highlight words as, as they are read. So it's a great new feature. To get started, go to Settings, scroll down to General, then down again to Accessibility. There you'll find Speak Selection under the Vision um, heading and you're going to go there and turn it on. You can change the speed, I'll slow it down, and you can also change the dialects. So for example you can do English, uh, US English, Australian English, um, Irish English, um, we'll keep it on US English. You can turn on and off world word highlighting. So for this demo, we'll keep it on. Now it's pretty simple. Once you've got that set up, you just keep it on. And it's as easy as selecting text to have it read. So we'll read an article from the New York Times, for example. But it works for any text that you can highlight. So there I just, I'll just highlight the article like that, and press speak. Curse prepare to pursue more autonomy in a fallen Syria. By Tim Morango. Last updated, 11.19 p.m. ET. Dahuk, Iraq, just off a main highway that stretches east of this city and slices through a moonscape of craggy hills. A few hundred Syrian Kurdish men have been training for battle. Marching through scrub brush and practicing rifle drills. The men, many of them defectors from the Syrian army living in white trailers dotting a hillside camp, are not here to join the armed uprising against President Bashar al-Assad's government. They are preparing for the fight they expect to come after. So there you saw when you're... When it's done reading a page, it scrolls down automatically for you. So if you've, lo if you've lost your place, then it will pick it up and you'll be able to find your place again. Um, the highlighting feature works, again, in any application that you can highlight text. It's called Speak Selection, and it's available on devices running iOS 6 or later. Thanks for watching.